guys, I don't want to alarm you, but there's a little bit of an emergency in this house. And uh, the emergency is uh, 48 hours worth of food. I uh, got some help here. We got Molly Schuyler, man, in the uh, stove there. Mr. Pool over here, the ice man. We're going to do two of these between the three of us because that's 110 servings and 21,000 calories. And uh, it's supposed to be 48 hours, so we're actually going to eat four days worth of food in hopefully less than a half a day. I think we can do it. <laughs> but anyway, so emergency kit food has macaroni and cheese and wild rice and it has pancakes and it has soup. oatmeal and soup. it has soup. 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 Molly's excited about soup. Mr. Poole, not so much. He's uh, he's excited for the uh, oatmeal because he's an oatmeal connoisseur. Yes, he is. Makes him an oatmeal sore. So, let's do this. Thing. After all these hours of uh, preparation, this is what we ended up coming with. There you can, you got your pancakes, and you got your soup over here, you got your oatmeal, you got the huge plethora. Means a lot. That word means a lot. Oh. You got your mac and cheese and you got your wild rice there. It's uh, it's a lot actually. I mean, I uh, I think we might actually revisit this challenge eventually and try to do three survival kits, so one per person. We're gonna yeah, try. Yeah, I think it. it's doable. I think it's definitely doable. And now that we saw it, like actually prepared. Um, but this is two between three people. Let's try it. All right. So as you saw in the clips before, there um, we showed you what this 96-hour emergency kit would look like because this is two of the kits between three people. It's epically massive. But uh, we got pancakes and oatmeal and macaroni and cheese and rice and potato soup. And uh, I got my favorite condiment syrup. And Paul's got the same thing. Molly Skyler's got the same thing. We're going to see if we can finish three of these things. We're going to have to go back and do a whole one. I think, I, think the, I think a whole container might be possible. It's a lot. This actually has quite a bit of weight, but I think that it'd be possible. I think it's doable. I think it's doable. So we'll do it again. Yeah. So we got 96 hours worth of food here. We're in survival mode. Uh, Mr. Poole is, uh, took so long to cook it, he's in starvation mode. Oh, geez. So here we go, without further ado. 110 serving emergency kit meal challenge. Three, two, one. Well, I feel like I should probably start with breakfast. breakfast <laughs> I'm gonna mix the rice. Right. I'm gonna stir it up, get the heat out. You see how, can you see that steam? Look how hot it is still. We've been, we've been cooking this for over an hour, and it was, it was the rice that took everything, really. And this yeah. brick of. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. That's good oatmeal. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> try the, just try the oatmeal, please. Just try, without doing that. Without syruping it? Alright, without doing it. I kind of like it actually. Are you serious? Mm. There's something wrong with it. Oh, I'm out of I'm telling you, I like to chew my oatmeal. I just like syrup. Mm. That's definitely very chewy. The food is actually really good. I mean, you need some salt, but other than that. I mean, for being like temporary stuff. Maybe we should open a restaurant where we serve, we serve an emergency meal kit. What is the shelf life of this stuff? 35 years. Is that really? Oh, wow. I think in certain, it says in certain conditions it can last 20 to 35 years. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> so when macaroni and cheese <laughs> was done like an hour ago, it sat in the pot, so obviously all the liquid's gone. Yeah, no liquid left. They're trying to like dig around it, so I don't want to touch it. <laughs>
Just put some, put some syrup in it. Or... I'm sure you get a bowl of soup for your oatmeal. Yeah. Cause I'll put a bunch of syrup on it. <laughs> in order to eat your oatmeal. Bro. This mac and cheese is pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. If I put my rice on it immediately, I was like, ah. My defense, I was doing a little change in the car when they were cooking it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Here we go, fix that mac and cheese. <laughs> put some syrup on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, that's good. So, basically everything came up at different times because the rice took so long. The mac and cheese was done first, so we should have started the rice first. But the rice took like three times as long as we thought it would. And, yeah. We've never had an emergency situation. Yes, that is correct. Well, not the one that required emergency food. I should say. I've had a lot of emergencies, like code red. At least it looks like I have some liquid on it. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in that? Put some syrup on there. It's not bad. What? I said put some syrup on it. Guys, you know that bad. It wouldn't be any different than on like runny eggs or the cheese on it. Runny eggs. Rubbery bacon, I mean. <coughs> Comment below if you ever actually had to like use an emergency kit for like what? True story. Like snow or something? Yeah, what have you used it for? What was your emergency like? Because we were thinking about it and I mean obviously you think of like you know, run out of food, the trucks can't get to stores. I mean, literally having no food in the house because whatever, but. Mr. Pool all your snacks. Mr. Pool all your snacks. You might be out of snacks. You look too. miserable through that. Thanks. Might be waiting. Oh, I don't want to eat that crap. I'll eat it if you don't want to eat it. I don't mind eating soup. I think three would be pretty tough. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it's doable. I just, I don't think you'd want to do it. So much mac and cheese. Yeah. You still eating that so dry? <laughs> it doesn't even sound good. It's good. It's good. It's real good. It's good. What are you saying that with that one child today? That one, that one. It's like you would sound like you said it's good or whatever. It's just saying. It's good. Mm. It's good. One guy. Never mind. Oh.
You're doing that in Texas. You're, that one. There, it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh my god, I don't remember. This is the place that smells like soup, was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't. <sighs> um, no, he, that was like the last. He poured the stuff in there after we. That soda, please. Yeah, after we mixed the water up. Um, of the pancakes, he put it in there, so it wasn't overcooked. Rice is actually kind of good. You need some help? <laughs> I don't think the rice is bad. I mean, I would, I would like some more salt on it and stuff, but I mean. I think it's impossible. Well, it, no, it's not. Yeah, because you shoot your pants before you get them done. I doubt it. LAB shoot his pants. <laughs> I love Kevin. I can do it. I can get him around. Ah, my nose is red. I'm not saying I'd like to. Sounds awful. There you go, Mr. Cool. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. I would do a five pound bag of gummy bears. I mean, really, if you swallow the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not going to take that after that would be amazing, but if you were to just, just swallow five pounds of gummy bears. Still consumed it. Technically. Well, I mean, I don't chew half my food anyway. Blend it and drink it. I can put it in a blender. Oh, I can. Blender series coming. I'm doing that. Uh, I blend five pounds of sugar for gummy bears. Oh, God. 21 minutes for me. I don't know. He's like, oh, man, I wish I had like four more bowls of the soup. It's delicious. Oh, no. Why am I giving us tomato soup? I challenge you, Mr. Pool, to 20 pounds of creamy potato soup. <laughs> oh God, that'd be harsh. Even for you, Yeah. yeah. for me too. Especially if it's steak or cheese. I sure as you I challenge you to eat a, an entire box of oatmeal with no liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. 33 minutes for Mr. Pool. All right, so that's the uh, 96 hour emergency kit challenge. Uh, we all finished it up. That was that was tough. I'm not too sure. After actually eating two of them between three people, I'm not too sure three is possible. It, it, I think it's doable, but it'd be tough. It'd be super tough. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, give us that like if you did. Hit that thumbs up. Give Mr. Pool a sub and a like over on his channel. Same with Molly. Go over and check out her channel. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. Until next time, unless it really is a dire emergency, I don't recommend eating one of these. And, and if you do, just eat one of the 55 servings. And sh just you know, make sure everybody in your household gets some. Take it easy.